Well, I haven't done this for a while. I've come out to the middle of nowhere to do a uh, do a vlog or just a YouTube video. Not sure if it's a vlog, just a video to be honest. Uh, out in the middle of nowhere, and I have found a windmill. So the idea will be to do some time lapses of the windmill. Hopefully get my drone up in the air, but I've just noticed there's a uh, uh, quite a few um, power lines. So not quite sure if it's going to be safe enough for the drone, but definitely time lapsing. Lovely, there's some lovely cloud formations. So the cloud formations with the windmill in the foreground, hopefully, will make a nice uh, compilation of time lapses and drone footage across fingers. Uh, right, what have we got? We have got the drone in its box. It's in there. Got tripod for time lapses. New bag. New bag. Got my Osmo in there. A few more accessories. A power bank just in case I need more power. Because unfortunately, when I do these time lapses, it's uh, done with this phone. So uh, the, uh, the DJI Go app is quite power consuming. So. Uh, I sometimes need to recharge the phone every now and then to uh, keep going. That's why I've got a power bank. Power banks come in quite handy recently, so at least, at least it, it, uh, it enables me to stay out a bit longer rather than to use all my power on my phone and then go home. But now I can stay out for a couple of hours just recharging things from time to time. Right, I'm going to walk down to the windmill. This is a Chillenden windmill. It's no longer in use, but uh, as you can see, it's been it's, uh, it's been kept restored. It's really really pretty out here, very quiet. And as you can see, I have my tripod there. I will be attaching my Osmo to that in a second, and hopefully getting some good time lapse footage. Let's have a look. Time lapse footage of clouds moving behind the windmill. That look quite smart, hopefully. All right, let's get that done. Right, there's the uh, Osmo taking a time lapse of the uh, windmill, and I now I'm going to try and find somewhere to fly my drone from, which is far enough away from the power lines. Um, hmm, I really want to get a good drone photo. I think. Let's have a look. I think just out here it's going to be fine. Take off area, nice bit of flat ground. Another problem is it's frigging full of flies around here. <sighs> the only problem with coming out of the countryside <sighs> is bugs. Bugs everywhere. Okay, I was quite happy with that flight. Um, Open the uh, footage comes out quite nicely. I won't, I won't actually know until I get home. Uh, have a good look on the old uh, computer, see how that footage comes out. I'm um, going to now check on my time lapse. 
that should nearly be done. I've set it for 20 minutes, which should give me about 20 seconds of footage. So that's why trying to do something else while it's just time lapsing is quite important, otherwise, time lapsing can be very, very boring. Um, it's still got still got another eight minutes to go. So eight minutes to pack up the drone. I don't think I can fly anymore. I've run out of power basically. My drone batteries are getting a bit old, so uh, they only last about five minutes. And the last thing I want to do is uh, run out of power on my, on my drone while it's flying, and uh, it starts trying to return to home. Uh, I can't remember if I actually set the home destination up. It should should really. First thing I normally do is set the home destination up, but it does it automatically. But just in case uh, something goes wrong, I normally do it manually as well. I'm starting to trust it more and more. I've had it for five years, God's sake, and haven't, it hasn't returned to home once yet. Um, right, I think I will actually use the other battery, which is even weaker than this battery that I've got, right, and do another flight. I might try and go around the back of this windmill, actually, see what it's like around the back. <laughs> Right, that's my droning finished. Uh, the battery ran out rather surprisingly. <laughs> uh, it was flying around nicely. I kept checking the uh, battery percentage and it was saying uh, 70%, 60%. And all of a sudden it just drops down to 20 and starts screaming at me that uh, it needs to fly back home. Uh, that's when I start panicking because if it flies home, I just don't know where it's going to fly back to. I think it's going to be a bridge, which is about 8 miles away from here. I don't really want it flying away 8 miles because it won't make it. It will get about a mile away and then fall out of the sky. So I landed it very quickly and I managed to land it with 7% battery power left. Right, I think my time lapse should be finished. Uh, I'm going to do another one, so I might have another chat with uh, anybody who's been following me for a while uh, to catch up, really. Okay, so uh, what have I been doing since I stopped doing the 100 day vlog challenge? It was back in March sometime I stopped doing that. So it's been quite a while since I actually made a YouTube video. Uh, basically been working hard, still doing my day job, but uh, my appetite for making YouTube videos I think slowly died during the 100 day vlog challenge. Um, I think, I'm not sure what it was, whether it was the, um, just a lack of ideas, um, the lack of, uh, interactivity I was getting, you know, it's all very well having, uh, a few sort of constant, uh, followers, which I, you know, really appreciated, but, um, I think I expected more from it, I think, I think I expected to, uh, get a few more followers at least, and have a bit more interaction. That's why I set up some Facebook groups, uh, made a few little communities during the 100 day vlog challenge. Um, but after day 69, I called it a day. Um, and then I think I remember during the World Cup, I think there was one day when I realized if I continued going, that would have been the 100th day. And I thought, I wonder what would have happened if I did make it to 100 days. But anyway, um, these days, I think, I will just be making the odd video, maybe once a week, maybe once every other week. Um, at the moment, I'm getting freaking bitten by flies. <laughs> flies everywhere. I don't, want to, I don't want to walk in front of my Osmo because it's currently doing another time lapse. Uh, that can you see? I'm not sure if you can see what angle I'm doing, but I'm hoping the clouds are moving fast enough to uh, make an interesting time lapse. Um, so that's the other thing I've been doing is really getting into uh, time-lapse photography and time-lapse videos. I've done a few videos now. Quite a few videos from Canterbury I've done. And um, where else have I been? Canterbury. Churches. That's the other thing. Churches. I'm, I am an atheist. And I'm not, I don't mind admitting it. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in anything the Bible says. <laughs> I think it's all a bunch of rubbish. But churches for some reason I'm fascinated by. Fascinated by the architecture. Fascinated by the way they were built. Um, so anytime I see a new um, church that I haven't been before, I'll try and figure out whether it's going to be worth doing a time lapse. 
obviously not much happens in a church, <laughs> especially in a churchyard, but I just enjoy watching the clouds go over the uh, go over the buildings, and that's basically what a lot of people do. A lot of time lapses I found, all they're interested in, clouds, <laughs> clouds, traffic, um, that's about it. But obviously a lot of people uh, have a lot more money than I do, and, able, and are able to um, go to exotic locations and exotic mountain sides. Uh, and watch the sun rise and that sort of palaver. Me, I just I'm just happy to find a uh, interesting churchyard and some interesting cloud formations, and I'm happy. What I'm planning on doing, because obviously the way I'm doing time lapses, it's bloody boring because you're standing around for like 20 minutes or half an hour just to get that that 20 seconds or 10 seconds of footage, and then just whack it on Instagram and hopefully get some likes. Um, so what I've done now, thinking, well, why don't I just continue um, vlogging? So when I'm standing around doing nothing, I can actually do a, a vlog. I've also got a laptop that I bring with me, which I can write my blog about my time lapse in. And I've also just installed Football Manager on it. It wasn't until the last night I thought, well, I really have missed doing these vlogs. Even though I sort of got bored of doing them and I got a bit frustrated with them. I think if you take the time and actually find interesting things to do, then it might be worthwhile actually continuing. I think actually sort of struggling to find content Worrying about content is uh, is what ruined it, I think, for me. Every day for six or nine days, you know, what some days are great, but most of the days, oh no, what am I going to do today? As you can probably tell, I'm not using the Osmo to record this. I'm actually using my old Galaxy S4 because my S6 is on the Osmo doing time lapse. So now it's time to wrap this up. Uh, as you can see from my uh, time lapse, I think it's well worthwhile. I love doing them. You know, some people find them boring. It's boring making them, I'll be, be honest. But I always like the results. You know, it's all about movement. You know, it's, uh, if you can find the right location with something moving around, interesting, then it's great. People walking around, big groups of people, um, fast cars, um, like I said earlier, it's clouds, it's all about the clouds. At the moment, today is perfect. You've got a little bit of a breeze, you've got white fluffy clouds, blue sky, all the things a time lapse of dreams of. <laughs> Anything I haven't got is a decent camera to do them with. But that's going to be on my hit list, I think. I think I will be saving some money up for a, a proper camera, which I can do proper time lapses on. Um, and this is basically going to be my pastime. And I don't have much uh, spare time, but trying to get out from behind the office desk is uh is one of them things i need to do and this is your this is the ideal thing to do i live out in the countryside plenty of places i can visit to um time lapse plenty of churches uh so yeah so i'm hoping to see a lot more of you very soon uh if you haven't already subscribe subscribe like this video leave some comments below and uh hopefully see you again very soon Cheerio, goodbye. The problem with time lapse videos is when you're thinking about to leave, you suddenly realise, oh, there's another angle there, there's a better angle over there, or I should have done it from over there. And you get home and you very think, oh, how come I've only got two bloody, uh, have I only got two time lapses of this great location? So I'm going to stick around and do another, another couple, I think. It's always well worth it. It's always worth spending the extra, I don't know, half hour, 20 minutes just to get one more or two more really good time lapses especially if you find a nice quiet place no interruptions so uh, I'll stick around for another 20 minutes <laughs> okay this will be the final time lapse I do I'm just gonna do one of the whole sort of horizon with the clouds and I'm hoping there's enough movement there to uh, warrant a nice looking time lapse there. Uh, it's only being eaten alive by flies. <coughs> so uh, 
I'll be glad to get out of here.